very first time we've had a password was on this computer, an IBM 7094 in MIT in the late 50s, early 60s. The very first time we had a password breach was on an IBM 7094 at MIT in the late 50s, early 60s. Did you know that one of the most common access vectors that precedes a data breach is credentials compromise? It is not uncommon to see on the news that hackers stole a password database from a company, and that can be leveraged to get initial access to organizations they're targeting. According to Verizon, over 80% of hacking breaches involve the use of lost or stolen credentials. Passwords are a security problem because they can be easily guessed or stolen. If a hacker is able to figure out or obtain your password, they can gain access to multiple accounts and potentially cause harm. There are several ways that passwords can be compromised beyond a database breach, like brute force, dictionary, and phishing attacks, to name a few. It can be difficult to remember a unique password for every single account, so people often resort to using the same password for multiple accounts to make things easier. Well, that makes things easier to the attacker too. Some people may not be aware of the risks of reusing passwords or may not realize the extent to which their accounts could be compromised if their password is stolen. We're relying on something that people are not good at, remembering a long thing and doing it repeatedly over a very long term. Not something that the human mind is designed to do. Overall, the most important thing is to use unique, strong passwords for each of your accounts to protect yourself from potential security breaches. If you find it difficult to remember multiple unique passwords, you can use a password manager to help you keep track of them. In cybersecurity, we always thrive for redundancy. So another way to add an extra security layer is to implement multi-factor authentication. With that, we can go beyond just something you know, like your password, but we can also require you to provide something you have, like a phone or security token, or something you are, like biometrics. This makes it much harder for a hacker to gain access to your account, even if they have your password. But what if we could do better and completely remove the password out of the equation? And instead of thinking about mitigate the risk, we could completely avoid it. Passwordless authentication is the term used to describe a group of identity verification methods that don't rely on passwords. Biometrics, security keys, and specialized mobile applications are all considered passwordless or modern authentication methods. Cisco is innovating towards a true passwordless future that balances usability with stronger authentication. Our passwordless technology, powered by Duo, gives users a frictionless login experience while reducing administrative burden and overall security risks for the enterprise. Duo Passwordless uses platform authenticators, security keys from access devices, or Duo Push to secure application access without passwords, reducing the risk surface and administrative burden associated with passwords while improving the user experience. With Duo Passwordless, users no longer have to remember or type long complex passwords. Instead, they can log in securely with a single gesture that provides the security of at least two authentication factors. Here's a video of how it works with a very common example, a remote user connecting to the VPN. In this case, we're using Cisco AnyConnect. The user simply selects the location he wants to connect, and that's it. With a click of a single button, we removed one authentication factor while we added at least two factors behind the scenes, with user and machine certificate and several options for device posture. With the integration of Cisco ICE, our network access control solution, we perform an extra security verification to check the network compliance requirements. The user receives a notification over a web portal about the status of the verification. With just a couple of seconds, we're fully compliant, and now we have access to the internet and full access to Cisco's internal network. This is how we do it. And this is how Cisco is creating a bridge to a more secure world. Squeeze that like button, share this with a friend, and leave a comment to let me know what you think about passwordless authentication. And if you and your organization wants to learn more about it, go to duo.com slash docs slash passwordless. I hope this was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.